channel, in case you're new. Uh, statue collector here with another unboxing and review. And today, I got the Ghost in the Shell Major Statue by Weta Workshop. Quite a unique box here. It actually has a little flap open that describes how, you know, Weta worked on the movie. Shows different scenes of Scarlet, how they worked on it, the digital effect. Really cool, actually, that they included that right here into the box. I'm actually on lunch break right now. I drove home from work to, to go ahead and unbox this because uh, FedEx left it at my door. And cannot risk having these things stolen. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing and review and get back to work. So it's not a, you know, absolutely massive box. It's just a, you know, like a smaller one-fourth box, which is nice because I need the box space. Now, I've seen this movie twice in theater. Never watched the cartoon. But I actually really enjoyed the movie. Scar jo is my favorite. She's number one in my book. Most attractive human in the world. Next to the wife. And I really enjoyed the action scenes, the futuristic feel of the movie. And I debated for a while if I'm going to get this, and I decided, you know, I only found one last in stock, so I decided to get it. So let's see what we got here. There's the base. Decent weight. It's a uh, kill the... Uh, Probably sure I'm going to pronounce it wrong, a geisha, geisha, however the heck you say it. Pretty cool looking. Good detail. And paint. You know, it's just spewing like white blood all over. Which is pretty cool. Next, which is the most important part, is the Scarlett Johansson. Now, I'm going to be very picky regarding this because I have a few other ScarJo statues. And I will do some comparison, but here she is. I gotta say, I mean, looks really good. The hair is sculpted very nice. The eyes are painted very well. Now, I'll give you guys some good close-ups. Uh, later so there she is fitting into the base and then this just goes like Yes, like that. Yes, just like that. And here we got Scarlet's gun, which has a see through look and then white paint job. Next is holding the Geisha head. This is crazy looking. Oh yeah, that's crazy cool. Alrighty, and I believe that is that. So let's go ahead and set it up in the room and get a closer look. All right, everybody, here is the Weta next to the sideshow. So I'm just gonna show you this real quickly. So you can get a good look at the face sculpt. So there's the Weta. Mirrors the sideshow. Neither are perfect. 
Then again, you know, you're comparing a Black Widow versus sort of like an android, and Scarlet did lose weight for that movie. Let's compare it to the Gentle Giant now. Alright, now here's next to the Gentle Giant version. Now I do have that on a custom base. Normally it's not that tall, as you can see. As far as I know, they're both 3D scans of the actress. They both have their pluses and minuses. Alright everybody, so let's go ahead and get a closer look here at the Ghost in the Shell Major. So, first let's check out the base. So, I believe there's a light up feature actually in this. I need to figure that out. I'm sure there's some button on here. Yeah, right there. Uh, probably need to insert some batteries. So now as you can see, the crushed guy that she killed more or less, you know, from that scene. You can see all the detail in the paintwork, how they even have like the weird white thing coming out. Almost looks like, you know, blood from it. You see bolt wounds right there. It's like super crazy looking hand. More paint just gushing out because she ripped out the head. See right there. Now the android is basically taken apart. So that's the base. A pretty cool base. I need to get the light up uh, fixtured. I do like the pose. I like how she's holding this head by its like tongue. It looks super detailed as you can see. You know, it's like gushing out. See where it was torn apart. The little fine detail even in the herring. You know, they definitely did a good job. Scarlet herself looks great. Now there's a close-up of the face you can see. They painted the eyes very well. The hair sculpted nicely. Likeness, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. You know, definitely could be better. Here's from behind. Now I am using new camera right now. I did get the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So let me know your thoughts on the quality of this compared to my old iPhone 6. Let me just focus here. Look at the gun she's holding. As you can see, it's like a translucent resin, see-through, the white paint job. <clears throat> it's not a very big one for it, that's for sure. As you can see next to other sideshow ones, you know, it's not very tall. You know, I mean, Scarlet is only 5'3 in real life, so makes sense. Pretty cool statue for sure. I need to get the light-up feature working so I can see that. You know, the paint job on the face does look really good. The skin texture, outfit looks nice. Overall, a nice statue for sure. Oh, even right there, you can see how it's scraping on the ground. Let me show you guys from a distance. Now, I'm not going to be displaying her here. I just put her there temporarily. As you can see, I'm you know wasting too much space. I'm probably gonna move the endoskeleton over there. 
or the Terminator or something. Figure that out. There it is, the major Ghost in the Shell by Weta Collectibles. I may get the Geisha to go with it and get a movie poster, you know, like I do with all my other, you know, statues, the companion pieces. Always looks best like that with a companion piece, poster, DVD. There it is. Hope you all enjoyed this video unboxing and review. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a great day. All right, everybody. I just wanted to quickly show you the light up feature on the major statue. Here it is. Super bright. I really like it. Let me show you with the cabinet light off. As you can see, it's super bright. Looks great. Here's with the regular lights on. So it still really just shines out. Very cool light up feature. It takes four AA batteries. And I think the major does look better up high. So I think I might just display her up there. I'm going to raise that cabinet to allow more space for the Terminator. I'll put the Terminator like that. Predator and underneath will have the like Greek theme. There's the major. Uh, I'll be getting the guy should go with it. Poster, movie, 4K. All the works. So there you have it. Fantastic looking statue. Welcome addition to the statue collection. Have a great day.